In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a liquid water transition in After Effects. Insanely, insanely fire transition I'm going to be showing you guys how to create today. And I got inspired by my old uh, water text effect, which were at that point very unique as well. So I thought I could make something similar, but now for a transition instead. So I'm excited to show you guys how to create it. Other than that, if you guys don't know, I have a all-in-one bundle on my website, which literally includes every single pack on my entire website for the fraction of the original price. It also includes a full course and by far the best part is that you'll be getting lifetime updates of editing packs for completely free. So to check out the all-in-one bundle is going to be linked down below so you guys can easily go and check it out. Other than that, let's start with this tutorial here. So here we are in After Effects and I've added two clips here. I'm going to be showcasing this uh, transition in between basically and the settings I'm using for my composition is FHD with 24fps if you guys want to use the same. So we're going to be starting off by creating a adjustment layer here. So press Ctrl Alt Y to create an adjustment layer. And after that, we're going to be cutting our adjustment layer. So it's going to be one second in width. And this depends on your frame rate. So since I'm using 24 FPS, my adjustment layer is going to be 24 frames. So I'm going to go 12 frames to the left. Then cut it. Go to the transition point. You can make a marker here. Then go 12 frames to the right. Then cut it. And we can name the adjustment layer Water Transition. And we're going to be starting off by adding turbulent displays. And it's going to be creating this kind of liquid, uh, uh, wavy kind of look, which will resemble the kind of water texture very, very well. So we're going to be starting off by uh, basically setting the amount here to zero at the beginning. Go to the transition point. Here we can drag it up. I wouldn't go more than 150 on the amount for this. Uh, and then after that, go to the ending, set the amount to zero. After that, we're going to be keyframing the size here as well. So keyframe the size at the beginning, set it to 2. Go to the transition point, drag it up to yeah 100 here, and then set it to 0 or 2. So now when we play, we'll be getting this look here. Super, super clean. And if you want to edit the kind of motion of the transition here, you can select the amount keyframes here. Press F9. Select one of the keyframes, open up the graph. And for me, I kind of want this liquid motion to start pretty early. So I'm going to actually drag this one up like this here on both sides. And then I'm going to be dragging these ones in like this to create a tiny bit of impact to the uh, transition point. As you guys can see, we get a little impact. So it's going to look something like this now. Very clean. Now I can quit the graph. And next up, to get that really, you know, raw water look, I think you guys can relate. When you go underwater and you're trying to open your eyes, it's very, very blurry. At least for me, I might have, you know, insanely bad, uh, you know, <laughs> eyesight. But uh, for me, it's very blurry. So uh, to get the more uh, real look to this, I'm going to be adding camera lens blur to this. And then at the transition point, I'm going to be setting the blur radius to 10 and keyframe the amount here as well so 10 at the transition point go to the beginning set it to zero then go to the end set it to zero as well open up the camera lens blur effect you can make a quick easy ease and here we're getting a smooth camera lens blur here next up to get the water color here we're going to be adding a four color gradient to this so add four color gradient and here we obviously want to have some sort of blue color here uh, and I'm going to be going a little bit brighter here and I'm going to be going with something like this here and then you just copy it to every other color position here so we get this kind of look then we're going to be changing the blending mode to color so we get this kind of look here and this obviously looks very uh, unrealistic so I'm going to drag down the opacity here and we want to have it 25 was the sweet spot touch here you could go around there uh, maybe 30 at the transition point keyframe it so the amount is 30% at the transition point. Then go to the beginning, set it to zero. Go to the end, set it to zero there as well. Here open up the effect, select the keyframes, press F9. Select one of the keyframes, open up the graph editor. So here I just move up this adjustment here in the graph up like this because we uh, got the whole, you know, liquid water effect very early. So it would make sense to have the whole blue aesthetic touch to the whole uh, transition early as well. We will be getting this look here. We can drag it out to make it a little bit smoother. So something like this here looks very, very clean. And this is how it's going to look in motion here. Looks insanely clean. And uh, next up, I like to add some sort of glow to this as well. 
So I'm adding the normal glow in After Effects here. And here at the transition point, we can set the glow threshold to 40%. And then we can increase the glow radius to 300. And here we can also drag down the glow intensity here. I'm going to be setting it to yeah, 0 0.6. I think it's enough. Key from the glow intensity. So go to the beginning, set it back to 0. Ending, set it back to 0 as well. Open up glow, select the keyframes, F9. Open up the graph. Here, we want to create a simple sharp graph like this here. So this is going to be creating a little impact to our water uh, transition here. It's going to look something like this here. Very clean touch here. And then after that, to get an even more like impact look to the transition here, we're going to be adding exposure. So we're going to be creating a tiny, tiny flash at the transition point here as well. So we can set the exposure to one, go to the ending, set it to zero, put up exposure, master, select the keyframes, F9, open up the graph editor, same as uh, the glow, make a simple sharp graph here. Great, something like that. And now when we play it, it's going to look something like this here. Insanely, insanely cool and unique water transition in After Effects here. Perfect for your music videos. And if you want to have similar kind of, you know, liquid warp kind of style transitions, I've made a warp transition presets pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. And how to use it is basically to make a new adjustment layer. We can make the water transition adjustment layer invisible. Go to animation presets, user presets, warp transition presets here we can use warp twist v2 drag and drop and here with the preset you just match it with your transition which is here so i'm gonna go like this then cut it and now when we play it's going to look something like this here insanely insanely clean warp distortion uh transition here super super cool and just for fun's sake we could combine it with the water transition here so now when we combine it it's going to look something like this here insanely cool i mean absolutely incredible combination here it crazy cool i mean absolutely incredible and the best part is that i'm going to be right now fusing these two transitions together into one preset and including that in my all-in-one bundle as a bonus every single bonus preset i've ever created is included in the all-in-one bundle great and that's just one transition from the warp transition preset pack so we can create a new adjustment layer here and here we can add vertical warp flash drag and drop open up the adjustment layer sync the transition with your transition point and it's going to look something like this here insanely insanely good looking transition here absolutely incredible super super clean and fast and then let's try one more so create a new adjustment layer and here we can use the chrome warp transition here so drag and drop sync it to your transition point got it and it's going to look something like this here insanely clean i mean absolutely lovely just the whole chromatic aberration warp here looks absolutely incredible just look at this one frame here guys like it, it's incredible absolutely incredible and i'm super super satisfied with all of the transitions we have been creating in this tutorial here so if you guys want to check out the warp transition presets pack i use now in the end to create these insanely cool transitions here it's going to be linked down below and if you guys want to have my entire website every future update everything like that my all-in-one bundle is also going to be linked down below so you guys can easily go and check it out other than that, thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.